For decades, this community has survived and relied on diesel generators to power their homes, their school, their airport, until now. While the rest of the country was preparing to celebrate Christmas, Paganchigam was preparing to quietly celebrate history. In partnership with Fortis Inc., this First Nations Reserve would be the first of its kind to be serviced by Watinikini App Power. It's a power company operated by First Nations and for First Nations. It does represent a new beginning for, for the community, for, for, our, for our youth. Communities are putting uh, a lot of faith and a, a lot of confidence into Watain Kiniat Power. I believe that if we make, if we create opportunities and create hope foundations for our young ones, that uh, it's not just about bringing a line in. Yeah, it's to save our people. It's a story of hope and opportunity. Christmas 2018 would be the season to look forward. A Christmas everyone in Paganchigam will remember for years. On December the 20th, 2018, Paganchigam, for the first time in its history, would be connected to the provincial power grid thanks to an innovative and visionary partnership between Fortis Inc. and 24 remote First Nations communities across Northern Ontario. Watinaginiab means a line that brings light and Paganchigam is the first community that will be lit up by that line that brings light right before Christmas. So we're celebrating here and it's a really exciting moment. A moment that has been years in the making, but for all of its complexities and potential complications, this project was fast-tracked for Paganchigam and delivered in about two years. The kind of uh, challenges that our, this community faced, which is why the project was put on an expedited uh, uh, timeline and just a challenge in itself in meeting those timelines with the various uh, regulatory uh, uh, legal and funding requirements that we had to go through uh, is, uh, is something that we weren't sure if we were going to be able to do it, but today marks uh, a, real st a real positive step in the right direction. It does require everybody to work together and uh, you know I, when you look at being able to accomplish this project in such a short period of time it just shows the level of cooperation. The vision of the chief here of let's make certain that we always maintain the importance of what this project is about. I wish I could fly. I wish I could fly. I wish I could fly. All this work is for you. It's for your future. The sign of new hope the sign of new opportunity and a future worth looking forward to came in the form of a Christmas tree. Local residents and project workers gathered around a roaring fire in front of this tree outside the reserve's radio station to welcome their first winter with reliable, stable electricity. But the first order of business is to safely shut down the diesel generator, then connect Paganchicum to the provincial grid through the Fortis Control Centre in Fort Erie, Ontario. Are you ready? All right, sh shut her down, boys. Shut her down. The generator is down. We'll be picking up the Pekanjikum community to load with the new substation. Stand by. 10 4, stand by. Jardine is popping the tree in, everybody. <laughs> Okay, at this time I can confirm that we have load on the Pekanishkum community being fed from the new substation. It is now officially powered by the provincial grid. Our diesel generator is now shut down and it'll hopefully we'll never have to go back or resort to using old diesel generators. And I just want to say congratulations to the community and hope that they enjoy the new energy that's coming to their communities. I am so pleased for the people of Bacanjicum to finally have their grid connection and to be able to turn off the diesels today. It's a, it's a great moment for them. It's a milestone for us in the Watay Nikiniat Power Project. 
And uh, I'd also just <laughs> so pleased with our team, the Wate Nikiniat Power team that made this happen. While the Wate Nikiniat team turns its attentions to energizing 16 more First Nation communities, reliable energy now allows Pagancham to address its number one priority. Build homes, much needed homes, and try to address or somehow alleviate the, uh, the need to to catch up on the backlog of homes. Based on cooperation, respect, and true partnership, the Watinakiniap project can serve as a model for future infrastructure development in First Nation communities across the country. By having First Nations ownership, we certainly uh, know what our responsibilities are and our First Nations partners also have responsibility for community engagement, uh, for government relations, and it certainly has facilitated this project as you can see. It's not about just about our children today and our elders today, it's about what is it that we're setting up for the future generation. So we have a lot of work ahead. We've got about five years of construction work to connect the rest of the communities to the grid so they can share in the same celebration.